never thought that it could help me until I needed it medically. At the age of 28, I was diagnosed with epilepsy. I had my first seizure. I was, had to go to the hospital. I was in the hospital for a few days. And what did they do? They put me on a prescription pill. So I started to do my own research and finding out more and more about CBD oil and finding out how much it can help with epilepsy. We are biologically designed by the, the God you believe in for this. We're debating an intoxicant that's going to be abused because there have been intentional loopholes written into the law. How could people sit on these panels and oppose something that may save my daughter's life? They'd rather me give my daughter a veterinary drug that can cause brain damage and kill her. have overwhelmingly positive influence and impact on society, it's something that you go with. There's a lot of abuses, a lot of loopholes, there's a lot of vagueness in there. As a result, it's not something that we should put in our constitution. The government has been lying to us for 70 years. This, this was what we were all filled with, these horrors of marijuana. So, you know, you're told it day after day after day that you're going to believe it. But when you have a devastating disorder, like I do and other people do, Hey look, all you care about is the best medicine possible. And if somebody says that this be best medicine's illegal, they're not a criminal, but they're gonna take care of their medical needs. The big scam of 2014 to get the compassionate people of Florida, which we all are, to vote and legalize marijuana. It's about money, it's about greed.